What 15? What the hell was that? Well, my foot slipped a little, so I didn't get a very good jump on the ball. Then take off the fucking sandals and put some sneakers on. And for Christ's sake, they've been going down the line on you all day. You think you'd adjust to that at some point? Take a step that way. I'm doing the best I can, John. Well, pick it up a notch, douchebag. You're killing us. Love 30. Get your goddamn racket out in front of you. How many times I gotta tell you that? I may be spiritually perfect, but my neck game still needs some work. And you shouldn't take my father's name in vain. And you should fucking pull your head out of your ass. I'm trying to win a match here. And lose the robe. How are you supposed to volley with that thing on? Son of God, my ass. Love 40. What did I just tell you? I'm already covering 80% of the court. The least you can do is cover the line. Well, maybe they wouldn't be able to keep passing me down the line if you'd stop spinning those wuss serves to their forehand side every time. Don't even start with me. I'm not the one who's dumped a dozen balls in the net already. Gah! You have got to be kidding. Are you purposely trying to piss me off? Out! I think the ball was in, John. The ball was out. It looked into me. Are you blind? It was in, John. The ball was out! I was staring right at it! The ball was in. It's your point. Turn the other cheek, Prince of Peace. Cover the line! Use your head. You cannot be serious. Get into the net! Christ, you suck! Can't believe we lost those jerks. We tried our best. That's the best you can do? Hell if I'm ever playing with you again. Good match, guys. Yeah, better luck next time. Thanks, girls. Good match yourselves. Look at you, 21 years old. You know why you've never made anything of yourself? Because you don't have any character. I don't? You don't even know what character is. Maybe we just have different definitions of what it is, Pop. What's yours? Character is the way you behave when no one else is around. Really? Ooh, who's the sexy bitch? Pretty sure we have different definitions. That would be awesome. What? Yeah, that would be awesome. Are you George Clooney? Sorry, no I'm not. Yes you are. We'd recognize you anywhere. Seriously, I'm not. We're both <laughs> so hot for you. We'd love to get to know you better. And if you'd like for us to get a little dirty, That'll be all right with us.
You ladies are done in here, you can get to work in the kitchen. I read this movie review the other day where the reviewer said it's more intriguing if we're left to wonder what someone is thinking rather than being told what someone is thinking. You know, I think you're right. That reviewer might be onto something there. Me too. For example, rather than knowing what's going on in his head, it's more intriguing for me to wonder what the axe murderer in the corner is thinking. I'm Janet from next door. I just wanted to bring you a little something to welcome you to the neighborhood. Oh, thank you very much. I'm Frank. Would you like to come on in for some coffee or tea? How about a beer? Okay. Ah. Wow. You've really gotten settled in quickly. It doesn't take long. We don't have much stuff. I like what you've done with this room. Thanks. So, I haven't noticed any women coming in and out of the house. Um, are you single? Yep. I haven't met Miss Wright yet. How about yourself? Married. Two kids. Oh, good for you. Yeah, it's wonderful. Be a good neighbor. Come over here and sit by me. So, is there anything in particular I should know about the neighborhood? Like what? Yeah, you know, uh... Maybe a neighbor who blares his music all the time, or mm -hmm. someone who leaves their dog out and it barks all night, you know, stuff like that. Do you work out? Not really. I mean, I do some push-ups when I get up in the morning, but other than that, I don't do much. You know, I saw you moving your boxes and your furniture in last week, Frank, and I reached two conclusions. One, you are very sexy. And two, I want you to do me right now. What would Jesus do? What would Jesus do? Love thy neighbor, Frank. Love thy neighbor. Most women like a powerful man. Yeah, but your outfit is not the least bit sexy. You mean to say I am not turning you on right now? No, not at all. But I am the great emancipator. I made the Gettysburg Address. Some people say I'm the greatest president in our country's history. It's not working for me. I lived in a log cabin. I freed millions of slaves. I spoke out against the Mexican-American War. I have a sweet bod. Women dig me! Yeah. Yeah. For a project like that, you'll definitely need to fill out both the 380C form and the Schedule 16-20. And since you'll eventually be in international waters, Form 189-IFA needs to be completed in triplicate. You'll need to contact your local pipe fitters and electrical contractors unions. It's just me and my family who'll be using this boat. You'll also need to get the proper licenses from your city, county, and state before you so much as hammer the first nail. Hey, Connie. Sorry to interrupt. You've got a call on line three when you get a second. Thank you. Oh, and you'll have to make sure that you fill out form 29-80 in duplicate. Make sure you file a copy with the county and one with the state. And then there's the Form 1783, which is a real bitch. Yes. Screw it. Whoa! War and peace! The new novel
travel from Leo Tolstoy. It's big and it's sweeping across the world. world. The New York Times claims it's thick. And German Chancellor Otto von Bismarck says Tolstoy makes Dostoevsky look like Pennyway. Pennyways. It's Tolstoy. Tolstoy. You've read Family Happiness. You've read The Cossacks. Now read War, War and Peace. President U.S. Grant says if he can stay sober for more than three hours, he might start reading it. And if it's got Grant talking sobriety, you know it's awesome. awesome. War, War and Peace. Just like the Bible, only longer. War, War and Peace. From Russian writing phenom Leo Tolstoy. Tolstoy. Blood, carnage, women's exposed calves. It's War, War and Peace. Available in bookstores everywhere. You know what would be awesome? What? Was it really romantic? It was. Cool. Price is Right is coming on. Yeah. That would be sweet. He's a young hotshot lawyer. You can't handle honesty! She's the most beautiful woman in town. You're the most beautiful woman in town. And they're on a collision course for love. Excuse me. And when they get together... No. Excuse me. The sparks will fly. You know you want me. No, you want me. Only sometimes you don't know what you've got until it's gone away. She might take you back. No, she won't. Why do you say that? Because I called her a douchebag. But when a ragtag bunch of misfits comes along... What can a guy like you teach a bunch of ragtag misfits like us? He might find out just what he's made of as they fight their way to the top. I can't believe we won the league championship! And it's all because you taught us to believe in ourselves, John! I love you guys! Hi, John! In the feel-good movie of the year, and just when you thought it couldn't get any crazier... <laughs> You'll be taken on the thrill ride of your life. Keep my dinner warm. It's excitement with a capital E. I'm going in. No, it's too dangerous! It's a roller coaster ride that'll leave you breathless. I ordered blueberry fill! And cheering for more. It's the spine tingling, feel good movie of the year. That's a taut, tense thriller that won't leave a dry eye in the house. As you stand up and cheer, the movie that if you see just one movie this year, this is the one movie you should see. You completed me at hello. Now I take matters in my own hands. This is the one movie you have got to see. Christmas is my most favorite time of year. And you know, most people don't realize it. They can do all their Christmas shopping at their local tractor supply store. Your nearby tractor supply store is something for every member of your family. <sighs> Jimson weed spray. Honey, it's exactly what I wanted. It also works on ragweed and cockleburr. <laughs> Wrong, son. I heard you say you wanted a hoe. Wrong kind of hoe, Pa. Wrong kind of hoe. When it comes to your Christmas shopping needs, Tractor Supply Store is something for everyone on your list. Wave goodbye to your grandmother. 
But I don't want to, Ma. What if everything our mothers told us? I said wave goodbye to your grandmother. <laughs> Was true. Dude, I just got some of those vibrating ab machine patches. You know, the ones that make your muscles contract over and over to make them bigger and stronger? Are they working? They are awesome. I just stick them on, turn them on, and my muscles start contracting. My stomach is really firming up. And they're the kind of patches you can also be used on other parts of the body to build them up. I've been using them on my arms. Now they're getting huge. Really? Oh yeah. You can put those patches on your calves or thighs or pecs, any part of the body and they'll make it bigger. I might have to get me one of those. So, did you get those vibrating ab patches yet? Oh yeah. Well, are they working? Well, why don't you come over and see for yourself? Hey, what's going on? Oh my god! <laughs> You're not even trying with this. What did you put in about eight seconds worth of effort into that getup? What? And how could you possibly think I would find you sexy looking like that? This is not what I had in mind for role playing night. But I'm the most powerful man in the world. Countries bow down before me. Are you kidding me? But I freed over six million Jews. No, you killed over six million Jews. Oh yeah. That doesn't turn you on? What if I said I wasn't Hitler, that I'm Charlie Chaplin? The guy who sang Cats in the Cradle? Yeah. Ooh. The problem is, you are completely preoccupied with the male penis. You envy every man you come into contact with because they have a penis and you don't. That is why you have such an insatiable desire for sexual intercourse, for when you have a penis inside your vagina, you realize that that is the closest you'll ever come to having a penis of your own. Hey Freud, would you just shut up, take your robe off, and mount Monique so we can shoot the scene already? Sure. My fault. charge. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I've known you my entire life. I remember the good times we've shared. Are you in charge? <laughs> <laughs> and I remember the bad. You realize we're destined to be together. I got going. Where did I leave my keys?
and those beautiful eyes. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs>